Hello and welcome to Lorbeck Luxury Cars. I'm Harry and on this edition of the Friday Drive, I fit this out 2016 Audi S3. The hottest A3, if you like, convertible, the S3 has a 210 kilowatt turbocharged four cylinder engine under the bonnet. And despite the extra weight of it being a convertible, this little, well, sort of hot hatch will still get to 100 in just 5.5 seconds. And being an Audi, the build quality is absolutely exceptional. I mean, just have a look at these cross-quilted Napa leather seats and the finishes. I've got to put it to Audi, they really know how to put together an interior. But enough of all of that, let's jump in and give it a burn. Now the skeptics of you out there might be saying, why would anyone be mad enough to pay all that extra money to buy what is essentially a jumped up Golf GTI with the roof cut off? Now I'll have to apologise viewers for my general appearance. As you can see, I'm very hot and very bothered. Um, I should have realised that driving a convertible in this heat was probably not such a good idea. So, but I guess at the end of the day, we're all suffering. So, all things being equal, I think that's not such a bad result. But anyway, back to the car. Now, it's a fair enough question to ask, you know, is this just a jumped up Golf GTI? But once you dig a little deeper, you'll realize that things aren't quite as they seem. You see, under the bonnet of this car is, like I've said, a 210 kilowatt, two litre, four cylinder. Now, under the bonnet of a GTI is the same engine, but it only produces 163 kilowatts. This engine is even more powerful than the Golf R. And when you consider that a Golf R is only a few grand cheaper and not a convertible, it makes this seem like an absolute bargain, especially when you consider that this has got the S-Line performance pack. And in the VWs, you miss out on all the other luxuries that you get in the S3, including, like I've mentioned, the Napa leather seats, the beautiful finishes, and the Bang & Olufsen sound system. Plus, I think in this Daytona grey pearl metallic colour, it really looks a business. Now, I've got some great news for parents of 17-year-olds, because I've got a fun fact about this car. The fun fact is that this particular car, the S3 convertible, is the most powerful car that's legally allowed to be driven by a P-plater in Australia, with the exception of New South Wales. Whereas the other S3s are all too light, and so they just get bumped across the uh, power to rate ratio limit. But anyway, an S3 it is, convertible. And that raises a question I bet you are interested to know the answer to. How does the removal of such important structure, like the roof, affect the ride, handling and performance? Now of course driving the convertible means that the 0 to 100 time has been affected to an extent because of the extra weight in terms of the structure of the car to stop it flexing about. And just coming to that, the car for a convertible like this is actually not too bad. I mean you don't get much scuttle shake like you do in most other convertibles and the only time when, this, when the body sort of gets unhappy is when you drive over a pothole like this one that I'm trying to avoid. Only when you hit something like that, which you'd avoid anyway, does the car get a bit upset. But overall, really good and it's still really fun to drive. I suspect part of the reason is because the wheelbase is so short, but I don't know. All I can say is bravo to Audi because they really, really know how to put a car together. No questions asked. So if you're in the market for an incredible value, beautifully built, awesome sounding performance convertible with all the best options and a fully documented service history in immaculate condition, come down to Lorbeck Luxury Cars and buy today. We'll see you next week. Woo! Nearly blew my script away. Oh.